Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the pod knee braces available at Revzilla.com. So it only took me crashing a motorcycle, smashing up my knee, and six to eight weeks of not riding and recovering to decide that it was probably time to consider a knee brace. Now, the reason that you are considering a knee brace is that your riding has gotten aggressive, whether you're tackling large adventure bikes off-road in a more aggressive way, or really the most popular place you'll see these being utilized is on a motocross or enduro track, you want maximum protection. And the reason that you would step up to this over something like a knee guard, a knee guard protects you from impact protection, so it reduces the amount of force transmitted back to your body in the event of a crash, but what it doesn't protect you against is rotational impact, the impacts that will tear ligaments and ACL, MCL, the impacts that destroy and create long problems for your recovery road, that is what these will protect against. A knee brace will protect against those rotational forces, making sure to best keep all of those ligaments intact and in one place. So when we're taking a look at all of these, there's a variety of different braces in the market. So we created a series of videos for each of the top manufacturers available at RevZilla.com. Pod is gonna be one, we also did Asterisk, we have Liat, and then we also have Mobius. So those are the four that we really focused on, and you wanna make sure you check out all the videos as you're shopping around for your next knee brace because each one is gonna be a bit different in fit, as well as size and adjustability, and also the amount of protection that you're getting. So as we take a look at Pod, the advantage here is for riders out there that are looking for something that is going to be a little bit larger in size. If you do have larger, thicker legs, this is gonna work for you. The one downside with this is they don't go up to a 2XL, but if you don't have larger legs, this is gonna be an option for you to consider. There's a lot of technology baked in here, but let's go ahead and talk about that sizing aspect first. So as you're measuring for this, if you're looking at the Pod and you're thinking, yeah, this is something I wanna try, you wanna measure in two different places. You wanna measure with a caliper, the actual width at your kneecap, and then you also wanna measure the circumference. And you're gonna use those two sizes along with pod size chart to get sized up. Now, you have two different braces on Zito right now. We've got the K4, which is the more affordable option on his right leg, and then we bump to a carbon fiber version on his left leg, and that's the K8MX. The sizing is gonna vary differently here. So you're gonna size it up the same, but with the K4, you're gonna have an extra small, small option, you're gonna have a medium, large option, then you're gonna have an extra large 2XL option. Those are three different sizes. And that 2XL is about the same size roughly as, uh, maybe it's a little bit larger, but it's, it's roughly around the same size as the XL that you're getting on the carbon fiber. Maybe a little bit more room with this, so if you do have a larger leg, you can probably sneak out you know, a little bit more room with the K4, but what you don't get is that fine tuning adjustability that you would get with the K8MX. The K8MX runs from small to extra large with individual sizes. So you can fine tune the fitment a little bit better bumping up to that K8MX. We're also gonna talk about the rigidity that you get with that carbon fiber, well, we'll get there in a moment. So price difference around the $530 price point for the K4, you do bump to around the $760 price if you go up to the K8. But again, this is that investment that we're talking about. So breaking down the construction that you're gonna see with the pod, this is gonna be a fiberglass composite on the K4. You'll notice that this works all the way around and you're all gonna have this kneecap little area which is gonna give you impact protection. It's the brace itself which protects against the rotation. Now the pod is gonna be different than a lot of the other ones that we looked at because the kneecap is gonna come separate from the actual brace itself. And you have to install that. And then you can also remove these upper and lower protectors. Zito, go ahead and just like crouch down for me so we can see these. These are gonna be removable as well. And these are all gonna be for impact protection, both the knee as well as the top and the bottom of this helps with any kind of impact that you would take to the knee. If you want, you can stand back up, bud. You can actually remove these with the pod and you can use it just as a brace. And that's gonna allow for multi-sport functionality here. So operating it just as a brace, you can use that for football, for wakeboarding, for uh, snowboarding, you know, any kind of, of area where you want that rotational protection but you don't want the extra impact, this is gonna be an option that allows you to fine tune how you're using the brace itself. Now, we talk about the construction on this, but we're also gonna talk about the fact that the hinge system is gonna be the same on the bow. So even though you're gonna have a change in construction when we bump up over the carbon fiber, the actual hinge, go ahead and face sideways for me, Zito, go ahead and face away from me. The hinge is gonna be the same. You have a dual axis hinge, and go ahead and strike the riding position. What this does 
is this allows you dual hinge points. And when we look at all the braces, pretty much all the braces that we picked out to shoot video on are gonna be a dual hinge brace because that allows the top and the bottom leg to move freely and that allows for the kneecap to actually push out. So if Joe were to move up and down, you would see that kneecap actually move out and in as he's doing so. The other thing you'll notice with the hinge system is that with the pod, it uses a rubber polymer, which is to replicate the actual regular feel of what your ligaments would feel inside your knee to give you a real authentic movement with this system. And again, you have hinges on the inside as well as the outside, the lateral as well as the medial side for this particular brace. Zito, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. Now when you're fitting these up, so you've ordered up a size, you've, you've done your measurements, you've got your size, they ship to your house, it's gonna be really important to get these tried on first by getting them put on your actual leg correctly, and then two, go out and sit on the motorcycle, put your riding pants on, don't take them for a ride, but try them on and make sure they feel correct for you before you ride in them. Like I said, the reason that we really focus on the individual videos for these is because every knee brace fits just a little bit different. And our goal is to help you get the right one the first time out of the box. You're gonna notice that these are gonna be numbered. You wanna start with number one. And you wanna try these on in the seated position. So you're sitting on your couch, you go ahead and you strap that first one across and it's really important that this sits above the calf. This is the one that's gonna lock the brace into place. Then stand up, you know, you know, move the brace back and forth, make sure it's locked in where you want it to be. Then go to number two, number three, and number four. Once you have this all set, try this on the motorcycle before you go out and ride. Remember, like I said, all the braces are gonna fit just a little bit different, and our goal with these videos is to get you as close as possible, but it's still gonna be really important that you put the brace on, throw the motocross pants on, and then get on the bike, don't go for a ride, but just move around, see how they feel for you. They should feel a little bit awkward at first, but they shouldn't inhibit you. The idea with a knee brace is that it's not gonna give, give you uncomfortable you know, sensations to the point where you actually go out and crash the motorcycle. You wanna be able to have that free range of motion. But again, they should be so protected that once you start riding with them, you get used to them, and you don't ride with them, your legs are gonna feel naked without them. Now, Zito, go ahead and just face forward for me. Now, we talked earlier about the construction on these. And in addition to the sizing, the main difference that you're gonna get with bumping over to the K8 is the actual frame. The frame is gonna be done in carbon fiber. And it's not done for a weight savings. You know, a lot of times when we talk about carbon fiber helmets, that's gonna give you a weight reduction over non-carbon fiber. But with this, it's about rigidity. If you were to take the base K4, there's a lot of flex built into that fiberglass. That flex is completely eliminated with the K8 MX. So what you're getting is you're getting a much more rigid frame to really work to make sure that if something were to happen, you're not getting any flex in the wrong places, but yet at your hinge points, that rubber polymer stays the same, and you're gonna have that same flex that you would want in you know, the right places. Joe, just face me for a second, and I'm gonna have you go ahead and just, just kind of strike the riding position a little bit. Now what you'll notice is that you are gonna have a degree of adjustment within the hinges themselves, and you can actually change how much hyperextension you have built in. You can go ahead and stand straight up. But those are gonna be adjustable in the actual hinges. You're also gonna have a variety of different pods and pads that will show up with this, so you can fine tune exact fitments based on fine tuning you know, how many extra pads you want in certain areas inside the knee. You can go ahead and face forward for me, bud. So as you're considering this journey, remember, now is the time where if you wanna hear more about what other people are enjoying about their pods, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. That will allow you to read other rider reviews. Also, make sure you check out the other videos that we've done on Asterisk, Liat, Mobius, as well as the pods. Watch them and see which one is gonna be right for your leg fitment. Really, it's about how thick your thighs and your knees are, first and foremost, and then how much adjustability you're looking for. Some are gonna vent a little bit better than others. Some are gonna have more adjustability, less adjustability. It all depends on what's really important to you as you start down this journey in extra protection for your kneecaps. Now, if you're still confused, you wanna to talk to someone, give one of our gear geeks a call, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at the pod knee braces. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.